I'm Heather. Ever since I was about 11 years old, I've had the same big goal in life. Can I have a few guesses as to what that was? A couple of guesses. I'll give you a clue. It wasn't happiness and it wasn't princess. <laughs> Not rich. It was freedom. I wanted to be free. I didn't want to live just for the weekend. You know that feeling you get on Sunday evening knowing you have to go to work on Monday that doesn't quite go away till Thursday? I didn't want that. I'd earned a first class in economics from the University of Cambridge. I'd worked in investment banking for seven years at HSBC and Goldman Sachs. And I wanted more purpose. And so two years ago, I found myself sitting where you're sitting. I'd been running an online hair products business for about a year, and I was doing well enough to ensure I didn't need a regular job. And I had a decent social media following of about 100,000 Facebook fans at that time, but I was stuck. I wanted to create a product line, but I wasn't sure how to go about it, how to fund it. And crucially, I was desperate for a community of business-minded people to bounce ideas off of. My investment banking friends, unfortunately, were not best suited to operational business problems. For me, on that day, the brand accelerator was nothing short of magical. My brain was on fire. Solutions to ideas that, um, I, problems I couldn't solve for ages were just jumping out at me. And on that day, I left with a to-do list as long as my arm. And I thought, if that's how I feel after just one day, I have to join this program. However, I didn't join immediately. In my discovery session, I told Dan Priestley that based on my to-do list, my business was not KPI ready. I told him I'd join in six months, and I'm not quite sure he believed me. I'm sure he sees his fair share of people that prefer to fantasize about success rather than work towards it. But six months later, I called him and said I'm ready to join. Fast forward 18 months, and my business was unrecognizable. I had created and funded my product line, and it's selling superbly well on Amazon. My associated book, Your Dry Hair Days Are Over, reached bestseller status on Amazon in the UK and in the US, and in less than one month had over 100 reviews between the two sites. Anyone who has a book will tell you just how hard that is to achieve. My social media status had quadrupled to over 400,000 fans and an email list of over 50,000 people. And as a side gig, because KPI is brimming with knowledge on how to build a service business, I created an online coaching program on how to build a six-figure product business, and that paid for my KPI investment a few times over. My favorite thing about KPI was that through their discovery sessions, they isolate those people that will really benefit from the program. And so although I finished my program, I continue to benefit from the new entrants that come onto it. But tragedy soon struck. This very January, I had my very first personality crisis. I was so confused about what to do. Although my business was doing really well, I was like, should I introduce new products or just increase revenue on existing products? Should I increase my uh, coaching revenues or my products business? And then it dawned on me. The reason I was having this little crisis was because I was there. I was actually successful enough to call myself free, and KPI had helped me leapfrog my way to freedom. And so I took a leaf out of Tim Ferriss's four-hour work week and decided to chill out a little. For me, um, freedom has meant that I get to spend as much or as little time as I want with my one-year-old son. And in the time that we're not together, I run a highly automated products business. By highly automated, I mean everyone does everything for me. My formulators formulate my products. My manufacturers produce them. My virtual assistant does a good deal of my social media for me. And my fulfillment house posts and packs my products. So I hear you ask, what then do you do with all your free time? Well, I've been reading books and taking interesting courses, mostly. I've been catching up with all that TV I wasn't watching when I was the world's most productive person. And I've started a passion project to build a series of mini libraries in Neno village, Malawi, one of the poorest countries in the world. 
because I've just wanted to do that for the longest time ever. To freedom, whatever that means to you.